Lucy Ford today's video is gonna be a makeup look, a Valentine's Day makeup look. It's a very pinkish red with a bronze touch. I say it's like a little description of what I look like, like my hair and my skin and my dress. It's kind of complimentary. So that's what my big is gonna be on. But also I wanted to share this month's BoxyCharm. I am using them and incorporating uh, four of the products and into this makeup look. So I really hope that you guys like the video. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the skin. Um, I've used the Mario Badescu facial spray before. It's the rose water one. And honestly, I love it. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick it up as soon as I like, you know, ran out. But yeah, it's been a couple months. Like if I know I'm not wearing makeup that day and I spray this on, my skin just feels so glowy and hydrated and you can really just spray this like as many times as you want. Sometimes I even spray it in my hair, but that's just cause um, if it feels too dry, like I'll just spray it in my hair, but I'm just gonna pack the skin. So I'm gonna be using two palettes today. I'm using the Ace Beauty Grandios palette and the Morphe. I want to say this is a 35B palette, can't remember, but it looks like this. Morphe one and the Ace Beauty one has these colors. They're like really pink, they have pink undertones, they're so gold. They have a lots of pinks and golds in them, which I plan on using today. Um, I'm also going to incorporate the BoxyCharm items. So I guess I can start with the first thing. The No Pore Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. And just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna apply it everywhere. It feels like really, really silky and smooth. It feels really nice. It actually feels really good, but I'm already afraid that it's gonna be a little silicone because that's what it feels like and I have issues when I use primers that like that because my makeup slides off. I have naturally oily skin so I don't want that to happen. I'm going to start with the eyeshadow first. So to create that base I'm going to go ahead and actually use the Tarte Shape Tape. Go ahead and I'm going to apply that all over the eyelid. I'm going to use a flat brush just to um, buff it down. I don't want it to pick too much product up. And I'm really just pressing it into the skin. It's okay if it gets down here because I'm going to end up wiping it anyways. So first using the shade Clove, I'm going to go ahead and Use that as my transition shades. This shade here. And then let that be the second transition shade. This isn't going to be as pink as it looks. Um, I just really want those transition shades to blend the darker colors out nicely so it doesn't look so harsh. I'm just gonna buff that out and kind of blend that together. Next I'll be using the shade Poppy from the Ace B palette. And that's going to be one of my main, well, one of two main colors. And I'm only, I'm doing this look because I want the eyeshadow to match my dress a little bit. So I'm just going to sort of pack it on there sensibly. I want it to go just above the crease so then I can blend it up. I'm gonna make some of that pink disappear, but not too much of it. I'm 
So I'm gonna use the Nude 6 Eye Color Pencil in the shade Copper Foil. Make a cut crease with this. Usually I would just wipe all this excess so it doesn't blend in with the concealer and then I would add a color. But I kind of want to see what this looks like and I just do want this to blend into this color so it's like a smooth transition. So I'm just going to go ahead and see how that turns out. This is like really precise. And there's barely any color picking up on this pencil, like any of that red color. So that's actually a really good thing to me because that means I can apply product without it moving. Okay, so I'm going to clean up that line a little bit and grab a flat brush, eye, pencil, eye brush, excuse me, and apply some of that product on the tip of that shadow. I mean pencil and see if I can line, line it up. Okay, so grabbing the shade Myrtle. I'm gonna go ahead and pack that at the very end. Okay, grabbing an angle fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade cinnamon and at the very end, I'm making a V shape from the glitter to the pink color. That is just adding so much more dimension, and and then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all the excess I have here, and just make like a straight line. Oh my god, this is always the hardest part. So let's see how it goes. If you don't get it right the first time, it's totally okay because you're gonna clean it up with your foundation anyway, so that's fine. So now I'm gonna proceed with the eyebrows, and I'll be right back. So now that the brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a under brow highlight. And I'll actually use the jasmine color and see how that looks using a tapered brush. Lay those hairs down with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I love my MAC foundation, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now since I already used the primer on my skin. Okay, so using this really pretty, pretty vulgar contour. Um, well, it's a bronzer, but I'm gonna use it for both. I'm gonna use a small foundation brush. We'll pack it on into where I want color. Because I look a little light and pale right now because we're hardly getting any sun in Texas. But it's okay because then I complain when I get really dark skin, but that's only because like my face and arms and especially my hands will be really dark. But the rest of me is like white white. And I don't like that. No girl likes to have like, you know, dark hands and then like light skin and then a dark face. Cause you have to change like the tone of your foundation to match or you have to tone the rest of your to me this bronzer feels like it's really light coverage i've already had to apply a couple layers i'm just gonna kind of brush it everywhere so it looks like i have some color because i'm really light right now mm, i see we can use the cinnamon and the poppy again so we're gonna use the cinnamon first because it really balances out with the copper lid and it looks really good. I don't know if the camera's catching it, but it looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna add the shade Myrtle right in the middle. If it picks up a penny. Yeah, there you go. Looks looking good. Line of Ireland. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the upper and lower lashes. Okay, so I've just finished applying this mascara and I've heard mixed reviews like I've heard people Hate it and people swear by it and first impressions. Um, I really like it and I'm I'm about to apply lashes anyways, but 
I like this mascara. I wanted to see what it looked like without the lashes right on top, but I like it. I have nothing negative to say, except for the fact that I don't like the wand. I feel like um, I couldn't find the curve that it was supposed to. I could tell it wasn't like a straight wand. So trying to find the shape to curve to my lashes without it sort of like having to mess up the rest of my look was kind of annoying but i mean you gotta take it or leave it for like a good formula so it doesn't really matter and i'm gonna go ahead and apply um, lashes right now okay guys so this is the finished look i really appreciate you guys watching and if you're new thank you so much for staying until the very end and for those of you that keep coming back i really appreciate all the feedback you guys give me and letting me know that you've watched and you love my videos um it means the world to me so thank you so much and i definitely want to give you guys a shout out so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to all my friends and family that always let me know if you're still here now go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye